Garlic is a much-loved and popular superfood around the world. But did you know that consuming it incorrectly can turn out to be a real disaster for your health? In this video, we will reveal 10 fatal garlic mistakes that can cost you your life. Mistakes that are extremely rarely talked about but can cause cancer, stroke, or even cardiac arrest. From dangerous combinations with foods to improper preparation, you'd be surprised how dangerous what was thought to be harmless can be. Watch to the end to learn how to avoid these mistakes and keep yourself healthy. This video will be extremely informative and helpful. So, if you want to become a master of your health, click like and let's get started. Number 1. Excessive consumption of garlic on an empty stomach. Excessive consumption of garlic, especially on an empty stomach, can be a dangerous habit, despite its many healing properties. It is important to remember that even the most beneficial product can cause serious health problems if not consumed correctly. Garlic, rich in the active ingredient allicin, is a powerful antioxidant and has anti-inflammatory properties. However, its strong effect on the gastric mucosa makes it dangerous if consumed in excess, especially on an empty stomach. The raw components of garlic can irritate the gastric mucosa, leading to effects such as gastritis, ulcers, and internal bleeding. Studies show that regular irritation of the gastric mucosa can create a favorable environment for the development of gastric cancer. According to a study conducted by scientists from China in 2014, it was found that excessive consumption of garlic on an empty stomach for a long time can significantly increase the risk of gastric damage. The study involved more than 1,200 people who experienced symptoms of gastritis and ulcers after consuming large amounts of raw garlic without a meal. About 15% of the participants developed chronic inflammatory conditions that required medical intervention. It is also worth considering that in some people, garlic can cause not only gastritis or ulcers, but also acute heartburn and nausea. An example is the case of Margaret from the UK, who tried to improve her health using folk methods, including eating garlic daily on an empty stomach. After three months, she went to the doctor complaining of severe stomach pains that eventually led to the diagnosis of a peptic ulcer. The doctor recommended that Margaret stop eating raw garlic on an empty stomach and switch to a more gentle diet. Situations like this emphasize the importance of moderation and caution. Instead of consuming garlic on an empty stomach, it is recommended to add it to meals or mix it with other foods such as olive oil or lemon juice, which can reduce its aggressive effects on the gastrointestinal tract. Summary. Garlic can indeed bring a lot of benefits to the body, but its consumption should be sensible and balanced. For people with a sensitive stomach or a tendency to GI problems, it is recommended to consult a doctor before actively consuming garlic, especially in raw form and on an empty stomach. Remember, it is important to listen to your body and avoid any extremes, even when it comes to healthy foods like garlic. Number 2. Combining garlic with certain medications and anticoagulants. Garlic, despite its many health benefits, can become dangerous when combined with certain medications, especially anticoagulants. Its natural anticoagulant properties make it valuable for preventing thrombosis and improving circulation. However, if garlic is consumed in large quantities, along with medications that are already blood thinners, such as warfarin or aspirin, it can create a dangerous situation. The mechanism of action of garlic is based on its ability to inhibit platelet aggregation and reduce blood clotting. This action is useful in the case of preventing cardiovascular disease, but when combined with medical anticoagulants, it can significantly increase the risk of bleeding. For example, warfarin, which is prescribed to prevent strokes and thrombosis, may combine with garlic to increase the anticoagulant effect, leading to an increased likelihood of internal bleeding, including bleeding in the brain or gastrointestinal tract. A study published in the journal Pharmacotherapy in 2001 found that patients taking anticoagulants and consuming garlic at the same time experienced serious side effects, such as bloodshot eyes, bruising, and even internal bleeding. 
In one reported case, a 73-year-old man taking warfarin to prevent thrombosis was hospitalized with gastrointestinal bleeding after he began actively adding garlic to his food. Doctors confirmed that the interaction between garlic and warfarin increased the anticoagulant effect, leading to life-threatening consequences. Another example can be found in the case of Mary from Canada, who decided to use garlic to improve her health while concurrently taking aspirin to prevent cardiovascular disease. After a few weeks, she noticed the appearance of large bruises on her skin and small nosebleeds. Eventually, her doctor advised her to stop regular garlic consumption to avoid further complications. For those taking anticoagulants or planning surgery, it's especially important to be aware of these risks. Be sure to consult your doctor before increasing your consumption of garlic or garlic-based supplements. Your doctor can recommend safe dosages and monitor your blood clotting values. The solution to this problem is moderation and awareness. If you are taking anticoagulants, you should not give up garlic completely, but its consumption should be strictly dosed and monitored. It is important to inform your doctor of any changes in your diet, especially if it includes foods with strong biological effects such as garlic. A safe combination of foods and medicines is the key to health and longevity. Conclusion Garlic is a powerful remedy, but its power requires careful handling, especially when combined with medications. Remember that health depends on balance, and even healthy foods like garlic can become a source of danger if their consumption is not controlled. Number 3. Garlic Consumption for Hypotension Garlic is not just a flavorful food additive, but also a powerful remedy that can regulate blood pressure. Thanks to its active ingredients, such as allicin, it is able to dilate blood vessels, lowering blood pressure. However, for people with hypotension, who already have low blood pressure, eating garlic can have serious health consequences. When blood pressure levels drop below normal, it can lead to dangerous symptoms such as dizziness, weakness, blurred vision, and even fainting. When blood pressure drops too low, the cardiovascular system becomes stressed as the heart is forced to work under conditions where there is a lack of oxygen and nutrients delivered to the cells. As a result, this can lead to dramatic deterioration, up to and including heart attacks and other life-threatening conditions. A 2016 study conducted at the University of Adelaide in Australia found that garlic is indeed effective in lowering blood pressure. The experiment found that regular garlic consumption reduced systolic blood pressure by an average of 10 to 12 millimeters of mercury column. This effect is particularly noticeable in people with hypertension, making garlic a natural remedy for controlling blood pressure. However, for people with hypotension, this effect can be excessive and lead to disastrous consequences. A real-life example may illustrate this risk. Lisa, a 45-year-old woman from Germany suffering from chronic hypotension, decided to improve her health and boost her immune system with regular consumption of raw garlic. A few days after starting the treatment, she felt a sharp deterioration in her health. She felt dizzy, weak, and nauseous. One morning she lost consciousness right in the kitchen. At the hospital it turned out that her blood pressure had dropped to a dangerous level and doctors recommended to stop eating garlic. For those who already suffer from hypotension, eating garlic can be a real challenge for the body. It is important to remember that even natural remedies can have their side effects. People with hypotension should be especially cautious with foods like garlic and consult with a doctor before incorporating them into their diet. A doctor can help determine safe dosages or suggest alternative ways to improve health without risking life. The solution to this problem is moderation and awareness. If you suffer from hypotension, it is not necessary to completely eliminate garlic from your diet, but its consumption should be dosed and controlled. It is important to monitor the condition of the body and immediately stop consuming garlic at the first signs of deterioration. As an alternative, you can consider other foods that support the immune system but do not affect blood pressure. Conclusion Garlic is a powerful remedy, but its ability to lower blood pressure makes it dangerous for people with hypotension. 
Remember that every remedy, even the most useful, requires judicious use and supervision. Be careful, and your health choices will only bring you benefits, not risks. Number four, combining garlic with other foods. Garlic is a powerful health tool, but combining it with certain foods can lead to unexpected and even dangerous consequences. In traditional systems of medicine such as Ayurveda, there is a concept of viruta ahara, incompatible foods that, if not combined properly, can cause digestive distress and contribute to chronic diseases. Combining garlic with milk is one such example. According to the principles of Ayurveda, combining garlic with milk disrupts the natural balance of energies in the body. Garlic, which has strong warming and spicy properties, stimulates detoxification processes and speeds up metabolism, while milk has a cooling and soothing effect. These opposing properties can cause disharmony in the digestive system, leading to stomach upset, bloating, heaviness, and even allergic reactions. When such incompatible foods are consumed frequently, inflammatory processes can develop, negatively affecting internal organs. Scientific studies confirm that improper food combinations can lead to digestive disorders. One study conducted in India in 2015 found that people who regularly consumed incompatible foods were twice as likely to develop chronic inflammatory bowel disease and irritable bowel syndrome. Ayurveda also states that such combinations can worsen pre-existing conditions such as peptic ulcers, gastritis, or pancreatitis. Real-life example. Maria, a 34-year-old New Yorker, suffered from recurring stomach problems. Despite this, she regularly drank milk with garlic in the morning, believing in the benefits of such a drink to strengthen the immune system. A few months later, she began to experience severe stomach pain, nausea, and a constant feeling of heaviness. When she consulted a gastroenterologist, she learned that her habit of combining garlic with milk was the root cause of her chronic gastric problems. After she changed her eating habits and eliminated these incompatible foods, her condition improved significantly. The solution in these situations is to take a conscious approach to nutrition and pay close attention to your body. If you want to maximize the benefits of garlic, avoid combining it with dairy products and other incompatible ingredients such as fish or eggs. It is best to consume garlic alone or in combination with foods that complement its properties, such as vegetables, olive oil, or lemon. Summary. Incorrectly combining garlic with certain foods can not only ruin digestion, but also contribute to the development of chronic diseases. In order to avoid fatal mistakes, it is important to follow proven recommendations and avoid unsafe food combinations. Following these simple rules will allow you to enjoy all the health benefits of garlic without harming your health. Number 5. Improper Preparation of Garlic Improper preparation of garlic can not only negate its beneficial properties, but can also become a real health hazard. Garlic is known for its unique compound, allicin, which is formed when garlic is crushed or minced and has powerful antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and antibacterial properties. However, when exposed to too high temperatures, such as frying or prolonged heat treatment, allicin breaks down and garlic loses its beneficial qualities. Moreover, studies show that cooking garlic at too high temperatures can produce harmful compounds, including carcinogens. For example, a 2018 study by scientists at the University of Minnesota found that cooking garlic at temperatures above 200 degrees Celsius, 392 degrees Fahrenheit, resulted in the formation of acrylamide, a compound that is a potential carcinogen and has been linked to the development of cancer in animals. Human studies also confirm that regular consumption of acrylamide-rich foods can increase the risk of developing various cancers, including esophageal and stomach cancer. Real-life example. Anna, a 45-year-old cook from London, used to add garlic to dishes by frying it on a red-hot pan. She believed that in this way she was activating all its beneficial properties. However, after a few years, she developed stomach problems and increased acidity. Her doctor explained that the reason could be that she was destroying the active ingredients of garlic by improper cooking. 
which in turn contributed to her digestive health. Cooking garlic properly is key to preserving its healing properties and avoiding potential health risks. Studies show that it is best to cook garlic over low heat or add it to cooked dishes a few minutes before cooking is complete. The optimal way is to crush or mince the garlic and let it sit for 10-15 minutes before cooking. This time allows the allicin to fully activate. You can then use the garlic in a dish without exposing it to prolonged exposure to high temperatures. Summary. To avoid making a fatal mistake with garlic, avoid overheating it. Proper cooking will not only preserve garlic's antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, but also prevent the formation of dangerous carcinogens. Moderation in temperature is key to ensuring that garlic will maximize your health benefits and not become a source of potential danger. Number 6. Garlic Consumption in Chronic Liver Disease Consumption of garlic in chronic liver disease can be dangerous if you do not take into account the condition of the organ and its function. Garlic contains active compounds such as allicin and sulfur compounds that can have both positive and negative effects on the liver. Under normal conditions, these substances help to cleanse the body of toxins and support liver function. However, in the presence of chronic conditions such as cirrhosis or hepatitis, excessive garlic consumption can be a problem. Studies show that high doses of garlic can have toxic effects on liver cells. In one study published in the journal Food and Chemical Toxicology in 2012, scientists found that administering high doses of garlic extract in rats resulted in altered levels of liver enzymes, indicating damage to liver tissue. This was especially noticeable in rats with already weakened livers. Thus, in the presence of chronic liver disease, excessive garlic consumption can lead to worsening of the condition and, in severe cases, to the development of liver failure. Case in point, Sergei, a 54-year-old man diagnosed with cirrhosis of the liver, heard about the benefits of garlic for strengthening immunity and decided to add it to his daily diet in large quantities. A few months later, his condition worsened and doctors discovered an increase in liver enzymes, indicating deteriorating liver function. As it turned out, Sergei's body could not cope with the load caused by the constant consumption of large amounts of garlic. Conclusion For people with chronic liver disease such as cirrhosis, hepatitis, or fatty hepatosis, garlic consumption should be limited and monitored by a doctor. Rather than relying on folk remedies without consulting a specialist, it is important to take into account individual body characteristics and exercise caution. Even a product as beneficial as garlic can cause irreparable damage to health if used improperly. Solution. Before including garlic in your diet for liver disease, consult your doctor to determine a safe dosage and method of consumption. Number seven, allergic reactions. Allergic reactions to garlic are not just unpleasant symptoms, but in some cases a deadly condition that can develop suddenly. Garlic, like many other foods, can be a powerful allergen, causing reactions ranging from mild itching to life-threatening anaphylactic shock. Garlic allergies are rare, but the consequences can be extremely serious. One of the most dangerous aspects of a garlic allergy is the development of anaphylaxis, in which the body reacts to the allergen so violently that it causes sudden spasm of the airways, low blood pressure, and loss of consciousness. According to the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology, AAI, anaphylactic shock can occur within minutes of contact with an allergen and requires immediate administration of adrenaline and medical attention. Statistics show that about 1,500 people die each year from anaphylactic reactions in the U.S., and garlic, though rare, can be one of those triggers. Real-life example. In 2018, there was a case of a woman in the U.K. who experienced a serious allergic reaction after eating a dish with a lot of garlic in a restaurant. Itching and swelling of the throat began, which quickly turned into difficulty breathing. She was quickly rushed to the hospital where doctors diagnosed anaphylactic shock. Fortunately, thanks to timely care, she was saved. This case emphasizes how important garlic allergy awareness is. Summary, 
Garlic allergies can be deadly. For those who suspect a sensitivity to this product, it is important to exercise caution, especially in situations where the exact composition of the food is unknown, such as in restaurants. If you have already experienced any allergy symptoms after eating garlic, such as rash, itching, swelling, or difficulty breathing, it is highly recommended that you see a doctor and have an allergy evaluation. Solution. Always carry antihistamines and, if you are diagnosed with a severe garlic allergy, carry an adrenaline auto-injector. Discuss possible precautions with your doctor and avoid foods containing garlic if there is a risk of an allergic reaction. Number 8. Using garlic as a folk remedy without consulting a doctor. Using garlic as a folk remedy without consulting a doctor can lead to unpredictable and sometimes disastrous health consequences. Garlic is known for its beneficial properties, including antibacterial and anti-inflammatory effects, but it should not be taken as a panacea for all diseases, especially if consumed in large quantities or without taking into account the individual characteristics of the body. Studies show that excessive use of garlic for medicinal purposes can aggravate a number of chronic diseases. For example, in people with cardiovascular disease who take blood thinning medications, garlic may increase their effects and lead to an increased risk of bleeding. According to a study published in the Journal of Clinical Pharmacy and Therapeutics, garlic's interaction with anticoagulants can increase the likelihood of serious bleeding sometimes requiring immediate surgical intervention. Another example is the use of garlic to treat stomach problems. Although garlic can have positive effects on digestion in small doses, excessive use can aggravate gastritis or stomach ulcers. Some patients who have taken garlic in high doses to combat the Helicobacter pylori bacterium that causes ulcers have experienced deterioration of the gastric mucosa this is supported by a study in the British Journal of Pharmacology in 2016, which emphasized that excessive garlic consumption can disrupt the balance of gut microflora, which only exacerbates the problem. Case in point. In 2017, a patient from India, having decided to self-treat high blood pressure, started consuming several cloves of raw garlic daily. After two weeks, he developed severe stomach pains, nausea, and dizziness. When he went to the doctor, he learned that he was suffering from an exacerbation of a gastric ulcer caused by excessive garlic consumption. Treatment required hospitalization and a strict diet. Summary. Garlic, like any folk remedy, requires a sensible approach and consultation with a doctor before use, especially if a person has a chronic condition or is taking certain medications. Without proper medical supervision, garlic can do more harm than good. Solution Before incorporating garlic into your diet as a health remedy, consult your doctor to discuss possible risks and contraindications. Your doctor can help you determine a safe dosage and monitor potential side effects, especially if you are taking other medications. Number 9. Combining garlic with diabetes medications. Combining garlic with diabetes medications can have serious and even disastrous health consequences, especially if the potential effects are not considered. Garlic is known to have the ability to lower blood sugar levels due to its natural hypoglycemic properties. This is due to the presence of active ingredients in it, such as allicin, which affect glucose metabolism and cell sensitivity to insulin. However, when garlic is consumed in combination with diabetes medications, such as insulin or sulfonylurea drugs, the risk of hypoglycemia increases several times. Hypoglycemia is a dangerous condition in which blood sugar levels fall below normal levels, which can cause symptoms such as dizziness, weakness, sweating, fainting, and even coma. According to the American Diabetes Association, thousands of patients end up in hospitals each year with hypoglycemic attacks caused by the wrong combination of food and medication. Real-life example. In 2018, a case was reported where a patient with type 2 diabetes started consuming garlic daily in hopes of lowering his blood sugar naturally. 
At the same time, he continued to take his prescribed medications. After a few days, he began experiencing severe dizziness, sweating, and tremors. Doctors diagnosed hypoglycemia, which led to emergency hospitalization. After a detailed examination, it turned out that the combination of garlic and medication had significantly lowered the blood sugar level below the acceptable norm. A 2019 study in the Journal of Nutrition has confirmed that excessive garlic consumption can enhance the effects of sugar-lowering medications, which is especially dangerous for diabetic patients taking insulin. An experiment involving 150 diabetic patients found that 20% of participants who took garlic along with their diabetes medications experienced signs of hypoglycemia requiring medical intervention. Conclusion Combining garlic with diabetes medications requires extreme caution. Hypoglycemia is not just an unpleasant condition, but a potentially deadly threat if left unchecked. People with diabetes should be especially careful about their diet and discuss any dietary changes with their doctor. Solution If you are taking diabetes medications and want to add garlic to your diet, be sure to consult your doctor. He or she can help adjust the dosage of the medication or suggest safe alternatives to avoid hypoglycemic states. It is also important to monitor your blood sugar levels regularly, especially after changing your diet or adding new foods like garlic. Number 10. Long-term unchecked use of garlic. Long-term use of garlic without proper monitoring can do more harm than good. Although garlic is known for its many health benefits such as boosting the immune system, lowering cholesterol and supporting the cardiovascular system, its excessive use over a long period of time can lead to serious disturbances in the body. One of the main risks of long-term garlic use is damage to the digestive system. Studies show that garlic, especially in its raw form, contains sulfur compounds such as a lysine, which can irritate the mucous membranes of the stomach and intestines. This can lead to chronic gastritis, erosions, and even ulcers. According to the World Health Organization, diet-related gastrointestinal diseases are one of the leading causes of hospitalizations, and these cases are often linked to excessive consumption of irritating foods such as garlic. Real-life example. In 2020, a medical journal published the case of a 45-year-old man who had been consuming large doses of raw garlic daily for several years to prevent cardiovascular disease. After a few years, he began experiencing abdominal pain and chronic heartburn. After gastroscopy, it was revealed that the patient had developed ulcerative gastritis caused by irritation of the gastric mucosa by garlic compounds. In addition, garlic can negatively affect the cardiovascular system. Although garlic can lower cholesterol and blood pressure, its prolonged and uncontrolled consumption can lead to hypotension, blood pressure dropping below normal, which causes dizziness, fainting, and weakness. According to the American Heart Association, maintaining normal blood pressure is critical to prevent heart attacks and strokes and any sudden fluctuations in blood pressure can significantly increase risks. A 2017 study in the British Journal of Clinical Pharmacology found that regular consumption of garlic in high doses, more than 10 grams per day, can cause chronic hypotension in people prone to low blood pressure, as well as increase the risk of developing bradycardia, slow heartbeat. Summary. While garlic has tons of health benefits, Long-term and uncontrolled consumption can lead to the development of serious health conditions, including digestive disorders and cardiovascular malfunctions. Solution. In order to maximize the benefits of garlic, it is recommended to eat it in moderation. It is best to use garlic as part of a balanced diet, consulting a doctor for long-term use. People with a predisposition to hypotension or stomach problems should be especially cautious and limit its use. The use of garlic should be sensible and informed. To avoid serious consequences, it is important to consult a doctor before including garlic in your diet in large quantities, especially if there are chronic conditions. 
Garlic, as one of the oldest medicinal remedies known to mankind, requires not just adding it to your food, but understanding how to use it properly to maximize its benefits and not harm your body. It is not just a culinary spice, but a powerful natural medicine that should be handled wisely and with care. So, how to use garlic properly for maximum benefits and safely? 1. Peeling and crushing. How to activate allicin. To maximize the benefits of garlic, you need to prepare it properly. When peeling a garlic clove, it's important to remember that its medicinal properties are fully realized when you crush or finely chop it. This is when allicin, a powerful compound with antibacterial, antiviral, and antioxidant properties, is activated. However, allicin is unstable and breaks down within minutes of activation. So it's important to consume garlic immediately after preparing it if you want to get all of its healing properties. 2. Adding it to food. It's not just about flavor, it's about health. Garlic can be added to almost any dish, but it reveals its health benefits best in raw or lightly heat-treated foods. If you are preparing soups, stews, or meat, add garlic at the very end of cooking when the dish is ready. This will preserve the active ingredients and prevent them from being destroyed by high temperatures. For those who prefer raw foods, adding finely chopped garlic to salads or cold sauces is an ideal way to maximize the benefits. 3. Therapeutic Use Control and Moderation Garlic can be useful not only as a preventative, but also for treating certain diseases. For example, its antibacterial and antiviral properties can help treat colds. However, it is important to remember here that even a powerful natural antibiotic like garlic should be used wisely. Too large doses of garlic can cause stomach or intestinal irritation, especially if consumed on an empty stomach. It is recommended to start with one clove a day and gradually increase to two to three cloves, depending on tolerance. 4. Avoid high temperatures. Garlic is extremely sensitive to heat, and overheating it destroys many of its beneficial compounds. For example, when cooked at temperatures above 60 degrees Celsius, 140 degrees Fahrenheit, active ingredients such as allicin are destroyed, negating the medicinal potential of this plant. To minimize the loss of beneficial substances, try to avoid roasting garlic and add it at the end of cooking. 5. Combining garlic with other foods to enhance benefits. Garlic has a synergistic effect when combined with certain foods. For example, combining garlic with lemon juice enhances its cleansing properties and helps detoxify the body. Lemon juice additionally activates the liver and improves digestion, helping the body to get rid of toxins faster. For those who are looking for remedies to strengthen the immune system, the combination of garlic and honey can be a real boon. Honey helps to soften the taste of garlic and enhances its antibacterial properties. 6. Keep an eye on your body. Know your measure. Regular consumption of garlic is beneficial, but only in moderation. Avoid excessive consumption, especially if you tend to have gastritis, ulcers, or other gastrointestinal problems. It is best to consult your doctor if you plan to use garlic for medicinal purposes in large doses. 7. Garlic Storage Prolong its life and beneficial properties. Proper storage of garlic also plays an important role in preserving its medicinal qualities. Keep garlic heads in a dark and cool place so that they do not lose their properties. Sliced garlic does not keep for long, it is better to use it immediately. Storing in the refrigerator can slow down the spoilage process, but it's important to remember that even under these conditions, garlic begins to lose its potency after a few days. 8. Allergies and Individual Intolerance Despite all its benefits, garlic can cause allergic reactions in some people. Itching, rashes, skin redness, swelling, and even anaphylactic shock are possible reactions to garlic. If you notice any of these symptoms, stop consuming it immediately and consult a doctor. For most people, garlic is safe, but those who are prone to allergies should be cautious. Conclusion Garlic, being a powerful natural medicine, can be of great benefit. 
but it can cause unpleasant side effects if used improperly. The main rule is moderation and judicious use. Whether in cooking or for medicinal purposes, remember that proper preparation and combining garlic with other foods and medicines can greatly enhance its benefits and minimize its risks. What do you think about this? Do you agree with these statements? If there are any questions, ask them in the comments. More information on this topic can be found at the links in the description below this video and on our channel. Subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications. Please like and share this video with your friends. Thanks to our sponsors for their support. I eagerly await your comments and encourage you to watch these useful videos.